Our purpose of free throw sprints is to build our acceleration skills on a neuromuscular and physiological level. Begin standing on the free throw line in a split stance with your arms in opposition, meaning if the right foot is in front, then the left arm is up. The focus on the free throw sprints is on the torso and shin angles and the first three steps. Your torso and shin angles should be angled towards the ground, which are called positive angles. An easy way to ensure the torso and shin are at positive angles is to keep your eyes down and forward and make sure that your shoulders are ahead of your body. Your first three steps should be all about covering distance and maintaining the positive torso and shin angles. On the fourth step, you will gradually begin to rise, but still not be completely upright. Sprint through the free throw line, meaning don't slow down until you've passed the free throw line, then walk backwards to the free throw line and backpedal the rest of the way back to the baseline. To help you with covering distance on the first three steps, think about trying to drive your top knee as far forward as possible, and then when you switch legs on each stride, whipping your back leg under your hip.